Hey everyone, it's David here. Welcome back to another Wizard 101 video. Today we're going to be doing a ranked match on the uh, Cosmic Myth. Basically the only Cosmic characters that we have. So we just have to keep doing it on the Cosmic Myth. Because we don't have any other Cosmic characters. Uh, but I'm making a storm, making an ice. So eventually we'll have uh, more to choose from. So we got Blake Crow. No idea what school they are. Uh, we are using our Warpad as well. Um, got some good comments in the last video. Appreciate everybody's opinion. Um, so, okay, so we got a sergeant, jeez, one less rank, and we would have had someone with no, uh, so solar surge, just one less. Um, but yeah, I appreciate the, uh, the comments in the last video, someone said, um, just use balance ward, um, this is just my opinion, but I think that's kind of like victim shaming, uh, or victim blaming. Uh, that's like saying to someone who got harassed in public, just wear longer clothes. Like, just don't wear shorts, right? Yeah, I wear whatever I want. Uh, the problem is not with me. Um, but, you know, it's just my opinion. Uh, we all have our own opinions. Uh, still have no idea what school they are, uh, but I don't really care. Uh, I guess looking at their health will tell us. 9500, so it could be myth. Uh, I mean, I have no idea. Uh, are they alive? Oh, I think they're death, actually. They're ar they have a death armament, so probably death. Uh, but yeah, again, I have no idea. So we're gonna go ahead and pierce that off. Uh, so we don't have death ward. Obviously a little bit of a problem there. <laughs> Obviously. Um, but... We should be fine. It's not a huge deal. We'll see what he does. Okay, so he goes ahead and blades. I guess we can go ahead and pop this minion out. <laughs> okay, someone told me to uh, just wear the Malastare hat. Uh, so about that... Um, <laughs> uh, so I don't have the uh, Dragoon Amulet crafted for me yet. Uh, it's in the process. Uh, it's in the process. It's almost done. It's basically almost done. Uh, but yeah, so far I kind of need the. Uh, I need the. Uh, what do you call it? I need the Dragoon hat for the set bonus for now. Uh, but you have to understand, like, even if I, let's say, um, I'm trying to stay focused here, because this is kind of an intense match. <laughs> trying to stay focused here. Uh, but what I was saying is, like, even if I used a Mali hat, you have to understand that, yes, I'll have 10% more resist, but I'm also going to have 13% uh, less damage, right? So... Yeah, his mana burns are going to do like, what, 1.8k instead of 2k? His clock is going to do like, what, uh, just sorry, I'm trying to stay focused here. I'm trying to stay focused here. Um, his clock is going to do what, um, 3.1k instead of 3.4k? But you have to understand, that also means that my Blade of Yaga is going to do what 2.4k instead of 2.8k right so either no matter how you do it i'm still gonna have uh, no matter which way you uh do that i'm still going to have i'm still gonna do less damage than the balance right not to mention with the mouse deer hat i'm also gonna have 400 less health than the balance um, less damage than the balance, uh, and actually still a little bit less resist than the balance. <laughs> That's how crazy that is. So no matter how you calculate that, uh, Myth still has a disadvantage in stats and uh, in offensive stats and defensive stats compared to a balance. Uh, no matter how you do, uh, how you divide that equation. Uh, so he goes ahead and uses a uh, King Art. Which is very interesting, not sure why. I guess maybe the debuff, he can go ahead and use the debuff with the uh, that vampire spell. 
Uh, I don't know what it's called. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea what it's called. Um, we could shield as well. Yeah, let's just shield. But yeah, the point is, no matter how you uh, do that, how you calculate the damage, we're gonna be at a disadvantage. Um, we're probably gonna go ahead and... Uh, the problem is if we Yaga... Uh, okay, he's actually using the Marshmallow Wand, that's interesting. It's very interesting. Uh, guess we'll shield again. But yeah, no matter how you do that equation, we're gonna be behind. And I get the concept of like... Um, Jeez, I'm really trying to focus here. I'm trying to make some points, but also focus. And it's actually kind of hard. Uh, what is our shadow meter? 99%. We could double Yaga here, actually. We could literally double Yaga here. How many blades? 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah, we could double Yaga. Uh... Uh, do we do it though? He has what? 2, 4, 6, 8. He has so many outs though. He has so many outs. Uh, hmm, I guess we can infill. But, um, geez, we could be in trouble here. Hopefully we're not overplaying this hand. It's just if you, if you hit, if you shoot your shot and miss against the death, you're in a lot of trouble. Um, <laughs> I'm sure as everyone knows this concept. Um, but anyways, um, I get the idea of ultimate accountability. Uh, basically the idea that no matter what, you take accountability. So I understand that. Um, but at the same time, I feel like if there's like a problem, like you should speak up. Um, right? Like, I get the idea of, hey, okay, this game's not fair if you're using a bad school, but life's not fair, <laughs> right? In life, uh, you know, sometimes you're just, it's an uphill battle, and there's nothing you can do. So, you know, I understand that concept as well. Uh, yeah, I understand it. Jeez, um, this is such a uh, close match. I'm actually pretty nervous. Okay, poison here. Uh, I just wish we had more time to blade, but it's whatever. But if we hit a miss and he scions, does he have enough piss for a scion? That scion will hurt so much. I have no idea. Can we crit? Okay, that's good at least. It should do it. Because um, with a weakness of 5 blades and no infall, it does 10k. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. Um, but yeah, what I was saying was, I was kind of too distracted to make this point. Uh, what I was saying was... I get the idea of ultimate accountability, and no matter what happens in life, it's your fault. I get that idea, right? Um, I don't like that idea. I think that idea was kind of made made up by rich and powerful people to hold other people down, right? Because like people will complain about like their wages, right? People will complain about slave wages, and then you got other poor people that are also making slave wages saying, Oh, you know, it's just you're held accountable, right? You're worth what you provide for the company. But in reality, that's not true, right? That's that's a made up thing, right? The truth is real wages have not kept up with inflation, right? Real wages, like the same job that you do that 50 years ago, that previous generations that did the exact same job that you did, they got paid with adjusted inflation. They got paid a lot more than you, right? Like, a lot more than you. It's not like a small difference. It's a huge difference. Uh, you know, back in the days, uh, you know, 
just literally just one person working, like a man working for the entire household with a wife and two kids, that man could afford a house. Nowadays, <laughs> that's laughable, right? That's laughable. And nowadays, you need two incomes and you still might not be able to afford a house uh, because real wages have not kept up with inflation, right? So I guess the, the idea that I'm saying is that, you know, when things aren't fair in life and it's caused by an institutional problem, Yes, there's some people that believe you should just put your head down and work and not complain. That's definitely, uh, you know, the immigrant mindset um, that my parents have uh, as far as just never complain, put your head down and work. Yes, it's unfair. Uh, yes, we're treated unequally. We don't get that same promotion. Um, but we just still put our head down and work and never complain. But that's not what I believe. Uh, I believe that if there's like an institutional problem, then you speak up and you advocate for change, right? You speak up and you advocate for change. A lot of the changes that we have today wouldn't have happened if people didn't speak up uh, and speak out for what's right, right? I think if there's a problem, you should speak up. Uh, but you know, that's just my opinion. We all have different opinions. Um, but that's basically it for this video. Uh, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share, and I'll see you in the next one. Until next time, see ya. Ever since the day that you went away.